Greetings everyone and welcome back to another random mini review, a series in which I take a look at various products that I don't have to go too in depth with in a time limit under 10 minutes. However, I'm making a slight exception for this episode because number one, Christmas is coming up and number two, I've got five items to review and I want to spend a considerable amount of time taking a look at each one of these. So that's why this video runs a bit over time, but I'll put the timestamps in the description for each case so you can jump to each one if you wanted to. And today I've got some really stupid oddball cases that I've bought off AliExpress that you folks don't to see me do an AliExpress cheapo terrible case showcase of cases. If that's the case, let's start with the first case. But just in case, I'll need another case. Okay, I should shut up now. Before I start, all the cases that I've bought, I guess I can link them in the description below if you somehow wanted to buy these for some silly reason. But the phone that I've got these all for is the iPhone XS Max, which I have now retired. I'm using an iPhone 13 mini now as my alarm clock to yell at Siri and say, hey, wake me up at this time. Taking about 10 days to arrive from China to Australia, we have just a fairly flat package. So the first one is a package within a package. It's good. So the first one is this. Very generic, isn't it? That's because it has a hidden secret. And this is the cheapest case out of all of them, costing only $5.23. But this case isn't just any old case. Now, a lot of you folks on stream said to me, nah, it's just gonna be a boring case. But no, here's the trick, all right? Do this. And we just wait. Now when I lift my hand up, there should be some magic, I think. Oh! We may need to do something else. It's not really working how I intended. So let me just do a little something like this. Oh! Look at that. This is a heat case. Basically, if you have anything that's hot and you somehow wanted to make an imprint on the case, you just heat it up and there you go. It's got this little piece behind where the phone will sit to protect it. So I'll just go ahead and put it on. Bit of a tight fit. That's what that looks like. Doesn't come all the way up to the screen though. So if you do drop it face down, it may just push. In order to test this properly, I have a 1943 half penny. Now I'm going to get my heat gun. I'm just gonna give it a bit of heat. Oh, hello. Whoa. That's pretty cool. And now if I just remove this, it makes a circle. And now you have a circle on the back of the case. So let's just say you wanted to have a SIM card looking logo design. Oh god, okay, that flew away. That's very vibrant. And then you just shake it off, you know, let it cool down. And I guess now if I was to then like put my handprint in this and then take it away. Ah, yeah, see? There you go. So now if I got the coin and put the coin on there and then let go and oh there you go <laughs> that's kind of cool it's nifty i'll say that you basically heat it up and now you can just do anything you want on there so look, there's a sim card design on there what about like a razor blade or something let's just put a razor blade there let go there you go that's pretty cool once it cools down that will all just turn back to a black case but that's not a bad thing for five bucks that's a pretty cool novelty if you wanted to just have a case that you can just go all right no worries and then just bam exactly like how it was advertised let's move on to the next one we have a big huge parcel that's because the next two cases are just quite ridiculous that i just don't have many words to say about these so it's probably better if i just show them to you without further ado these cases both cost seven dollars each when i say case i say case very loosely because they're not cases. These are not even close to cases. This is what you would call extremely silly novelties. What is this you say? I don't know. It's a fucking machine. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, how stupid! Look at this stupid thing! It's a proper meat cleaver, not a machete, it's a meat cleaver. The handle's actually plastic, it's not rubber. And this is all just plastic, it's all a plastic mold that they've just stuck an iPhone XS Max case on there and went, problem solved. That's actually not a bad fit, I'll admit, that's not a bad fit, but holy crap, the thing just... That's gonna snap. At least you have a handle to use your phone now. <laughs> can just go, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm just using my phone with one hand. Or if you want to alternatively watch it on the go, try pulling this out on a train, bus, or an aeroplane and just say that you're watching the latest edition of MasterChef and they see you holding a meat cleaver. If that wasn't there, that's a pretty decent looking weapon right there. It even has a little like keychain there too, just in case you wanted to put it in your pocket and have your keys hanging off it. You know, it would actually cause a bit of damage with the phone in it if you slammed it down. I mean, just to have as a fake meat cleaver is pretty cool but you'd probably want to stick with like a less heavier iPhone instead of a 10s max to get a more lighter feeling with this if you wanted to wave this around because I just have a feeling if you started waving this around this would just snap and that would be the end of it hey I just found another use for it it's like a stabilizer <laughs> and to film so you just hold it like this and just film and go yep mm-hmm and the case actually is quite a snug fit very snug. Don't worry, it gets worse from here. Because the next one... <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Put the iPhone in. <laughs> Got it really fixed. <laughs> Why does this exist? It's a fucking frying pan iPhone XS case. Once again, it's probably going to snap because that's very cheap plastic that they put there. It's all made of plastic. The case is rubber. Would be a funny prank to pull on someone. Be just like, yeah, hang on. I'm just cooking my phone. And then you put it that way and they're like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, why is it on the stove? Oh no. Once again, you could also use this as a stabilizer to film if you wanted to. You could also use this now as a weapon, but I probably would highly suggest not to. It's not as impressive as the meat cleaver. If you wanted to film yourself eating as well, you could have a burger right on there and film. You could also multitask with this. If you got a burger, you could have the burger there, quickly flip your phone around, do what you've got to do, then go back and then continue eating. So you could use this as a dinner plate if you wanted to. And there was actually some other designs that had like an egg on there too. The meat cleaver is a little more practical than this. You wouldn't be able to put this in your pocket, I don't think. I mean, you could put it in your purse if you wanted to and just whip it out and be like, yep, just checking the time. Now we move on to the most ridiculous ones of all time that made me laugh for about five minutes straight on stream. Are you ready for this one? You better be, because um, here they are. Both of these cases cost $14 each. I hope they are worth it. As I said, I laughed for about five minutes on stream when I first seen these. Well, I guess I prepare myself for laughter again. Okay, I don't want to turn them over. The new case, case metal accessories, jelly case, ultra slim and custom fit, screen protector, ultra thin and optically cleat without blocking your view. Okay, that makes sense. Waterproof bag, outer packing is made of PVC waterproof material. You get three in one with this. This is still a random mini review. The laughing doesn't count towards the runtime. Just the most dumbest things ever. The new case. The new case. <laughs> the fucking derpiest thing ever. Who oh no. What the fuck? That's uh, certainly a good looking iPhone you got there. Once again, it's just the shittiest iPhone case that has been hot glued to this thing, this abomination. Let us put the iPhone into the case. So now the iPhone's in. Yo. Oh. <laughs> you can make it more derpy if you want. I thought you could remove these, but no, they're stuck down quite considerably. You're also probably wondering about the camera. So just give our friend a little bit of a hairdo there and uh, hang on. Hang on, we'll find it. We're getting there. There you go. Give you a bit of a Bieber hairdo. There you go, mate. Let me try the other one. They were even more derpier in the listing, I swear. That's my face whenever I see another welcome device, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Let's stick iPhone in purple case. You know, I never thought the day that I'd be sitting at my desk, gently 
cutting away the hair on the back of a fucking ridiculous looking stupid derpy case that's found on AliExpress for 14 bucks trying to reveal the camera lens that's got an iPhone case stuck in the back of it. When I die, I will be remembered as looking at these two fantastic cases that were found on AliExpress. Who the hell is going to want to have one of these as their case? It would just fall out of your hands so easy. <laughs> Guess you could style their hairdos if you wanted to. Like, he's got more of a, you know, emo sort of look. This one's got more of a punk rock sort of, uh, LaRue sort of hairdo. Where's LaRue nowadays? She made some good songs back in, like, 2008. And then you could also do something with the tuft if you wanted to. You know, I'm really questioning my life choices at this point. Best quality, yes. I'm still puzzled on how you're supposed to actually use the camera on this because there's just hair in the way. You can't clear it. No matter what you do, you probably have to shave your case. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, this is all five cases that we wanted to have a look at. My favorite is the meat cleaver. These were a lot funnier in the listing. The most feature-wise one, probably the thermal case. If you think I should continue looking at really ridiculous cases from AliExpress, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. You could probably pull it off if you wanted to and stick your own case on there. Don't have to buy another one from them. Just rip this one off, put some super glue down, stick another one on. You're good to go. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video of me looking at those silly things. Thank you to all of the folks on screen for actually donating on that live stream to see these cases. I know some of you didn't donate to specifically see these cases, but I just like to sort of thank each one of you and show your names on screen. So you know that you're being thanked for the generosity of putting money towards silly products. That's the latest AliExpress live stream lot done. The first one was the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The second was that cheaper Android phone. And lastly was this one. I've do another live stream soon so we might go back onto aliexpress and have a browse and see what we can find but otherwise everyone that's gonna do it for this random mini review that went over 10 minutes long but that's okay it's my series i can make some exceptions let me know which case was your favorites down in the comments below all right thank you so much for watching everyone i really do appreciate it and as always please take care stay safe be good people and i'll see you all in the next one which should be a video before christmas hopefully we'll see what happens i've got plenty of things to do but until then take care and i'll see you next time If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.